Hey everyone, this is Casey and good to see you. I haven't seen you in a while. Today I'm going to do a video on two cool price action patterns that I love to trade, but you want to stay tuned to the very end because I have a very important question that's going to give you an opportunity to engage and tell me what kind of strategy you want me to do a video on next. And so just Stay tuned to the end. I want feedback. If I get a certain level of feedback, I'm going to help you guys um, develop custom content just for you. So let's see how that goes. All right. So first thing is this is the Euro Yen. Okay. And uh, what I like to trade is trends. I like to trade trends. And so when I find a trend, like you can see right now, we have an uptrend here right? Uh, but it's starting to turn because it went below the moving averages, but that doesn't mean the uptrend's over because we have the 200 period. For those of you that are going to ask, because I know that you're going to ask, you're going to say, what moving averages? Well, I've got the 200 period, I have a 20, and I have a 9 EMA. So a 20 simple, 200 simple, and a 9 EMA. And the first thing I like to see is all the moving averages lined up. And then below I have a MACD and a, an RSI indicator. I'm not going to get into the details here because that's not the scope of this video. But what is the scope is price action patterns that I just love to trade. So uh, what we like to see is a trend. So I'm going to go back and just look at some of these uptrends uh, signals that we saw and how to trade them. Now, when you have an uptrend, uh, there will usually be signs of back and forth fighting and rejection, right? There's usually back and forth signs of fighting and rejection. So uh, one thing that we want to try to find is how to get into a trend when the price is going up, right? So like for example, they have you ever heard the saying never trace a trade? If you've heard that saying, let me know in the comments. And yeah, it's a great saying never tra trace a trade. But take a look. If you you don't want to buy at the top here, you need to wait for the entry. And so there's two there's three price action signals that I'm going to teach you today. And the first one is uh it's the sideways method. Right, so when you have an uptrend, like you can see the MACD is pointing up, the RSI is above the 50, we're above all the moving averages, well then we want to try to find buys. And then you can draw a box, so this is a sideways market, you just draw a box in here. And I used to have a little box thing on my uh, toolbar, but it's gone, so now I'll have to fix that later. But we'll go shapes and rectangle, and like right here you just draw this box, okay? And you see how we have a box there, and we can see price is struggling and just fighting. Well, all you have to do, and the box isn't perfect, but all you have to do is when the box price gets out of the box, you just add a buy setup. Okay, so that's signal number one. It's called the box, right? So just buy when you get out of the box. Find a box and draw a box. If you do this one thing, I can promise you, you're going to have a great trading career. Just find a box, put a stop loss below it, and then trade that thing out. Boom. And yeah, it's easy in hindsight, but try it. Practice it. Look, here's another box right here. Here's a box. Um, they happen. Boxes, that's the new slogan of the day. Boxes, they happen. <laughs> and, you know, we could call it a rectangle. Um, we could call it a rectangle, too. There's one. Boom. Drop out. There we go. But it's a downtrend. I wouldn't trade this because this is above. But anyways, I like to go with the trend. It's starting to turn, but it's still counter trend. And get those signals out of the way. Those are my signals. They're annoying me. Sorry, I should have turned those off. Um, but there you have it, the box. Now, there's three price action setups. And the other one is very famous. It's called, well, it's not actually famous. It's famous because my best content writer who taught me this strategy and I've loved it ever since but it's called the hot dog dun 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 the hot dog all right so here's here's what you need with a hot dog first of all you find a trend I like a trend you can trade it in down trends but I like to just stick with the trend and basically it's if all you got to know is you find a, a green candle 
Then you have a red candle. Actually, let me uh, a red change the color. A red candle, and then you go back to the other color. So you got three candles, and you have a red. And then all you're looking for is a breakout, right? Go long. So here we have one. See, we had the breakout of the box, and you could have got in here, but let's say you weren't in the trade. And remember, at the beginning, we're like, how do we get into these trades? Well, guess what? Here's another way. You missed the box entry? No worries. There's always the hot dog. So here's a hot dog. You see that? There's a hot dog. I'll zoom in on that. That's a hot dog. You get in, and you get in. You put your stop below here and away you go. So pattern number one was the box, pattern number two was the hot dog. Okay, and just a, a heads up, I have a training on the hot dog strategy. If you wanna buy it, it's a full detailed and the link in the description below. And I also have uh, a strategy on these price action signals as well that I absolutely love to trade. And they just help me a better trader and it's a really detailed strategy. You can grab them pretty good affordable price at the link below. Now the next one that we're looking for again is a trend trade. And what we're looking for is a pin bar, right? We're looking for a pin bar in the direction of the trend. And so here's one right here, but this one doesn't qualify. Uh, I'm just, it's the first one I saw, so I'm just going to point it out. You see there's a pin bar here in the direction of the trend, and then the next candle you want it to be inside of that pin. And then if it breaks out, then you take the trade. So this one would have been a possible, but it didn't qualify because why? Well, because it didn't break out. And here's another one. See this pin? And then it's inside. Well, it broke out a little bit, but it didn't trigger. It would have to break up. So let's see if I can find one. Uh, you can do them going down or up. Um, and so we'll see. So here's one. Uh, let's see. Here's one. Nope. There's, there, you know, you got to be patient with these. Uh, okay, so let's see. Can I find one? I can, you can get them going down as well as up. Um, Here's a hot dog. You see, this is a reverse hot dog right there. You just see them, and there it is. Boom. Okay, so there's a hot dog. And of course, always uh, money management's really important as well. And I'm trying to find one with the uptrend, but I might have to find one. I should, I'll find one. Just give me one second here. We'll find one. Uh, they don't happen every day, but when they happen, they're good. That's the, one of the things about trading. There's another hot dog. You see that? There's another hot dog. Okay. Uh, so this is actually one right here. So let's, let's go over this. Let's clear that out. All right. Clear that out. Okay. So uh, we have a pin bar, right? We have a pin bar right here. And then we have the next candles inside. Now it's better if it's it's better if it's right inside and not breaking below the low. So this is not a perfect textbook setup, but you'll get the idea. Uh, and in my training, it has a lot more. So you wait for the price to break this, and then you just put the stop below, and then away you go. And yes, it's easier to find them in hindsight, but that's how you practice, right? You look back and you practice, and it gives you confidence. Uh, since I've learned these additional patterns, it's helped my trading tremendously. Okay, here's, here's a couple that are absolutely perfect. Okay, so here we go. Um, this is actually the best one right here. So you see we have the pin, we have the inside candle, it didn't break below, and then it broke out right here, and you just put your stop loss here, and then we have that trade right there. Um, here's one that's pretty close, it's a pin, and it just hung around, and then it broke out the top, right? And so we could have got in right there. Okay, so that is the price action patterns. We had the box, we had the hot dog, which has a link below. We have that price action pin bar continuation, which has uh, access below if you want to buy the pro price action course. Those links are in the description, so you want to grab those. Now it's time for the important question that I wanted you to pay attention to at the very beginning of the video. 
and that is I'm thinking about doing two additional trainings to be free for you on YouTube, but I need you to vote on them, right? Because I want to do the one that you give me the most votes. And so if you want me to teach all about MACD and a MACD strategy, I need to hear from you. I'm going to give you two options. I'm going to give you the MACD, right? And then the other strategy that I want to teach you is a brand new price action strategy that I wanted to release on YouTube that you could learn. So do you want to learn? And there's going to be just two ways to, to, to give me your feedback. If you want to do the MACD, what I need you to do is hit that like button, okay? Hit that like button if we do the MACD, if you want to learn the MACD strategy. If you want to learn the price action strategy, just comment in the comment below and say price action. And if we get over 50 comments and we get over 100 likes, I'll do both of them, okay? If you want to do 100 likes and 50 comments, I'll do both. But right now, if you want the MACD and not the price action, if there's more, if there's more likes than there is comments, then I'll know that you want the MACD. So just type in, for the comments, just type in price action. If you want the MACD, just hit the like. Okay, and I'll add it all up. We're gonna come back next week, and I'm gonna add everything up to see if we're on point for everything. And uh, if we get enough feedback, we're gonna do one of those strategies. If I get over 100 likes and 50 comments, then I'm gonna do both of them. But I hope you enjoyed this, and if you enjoyed this training, just let me know that also in the comments. But it's been quite an honor to be able to teach everyone, and thank you, and we'll see you on the next video.